Welcome back inside Cal Tire Place. Graham Turnbull here with you. So pleased and privileged to be joined by the second junior broadcaster presented by School District 22. Ty Orton is here. Ty, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, we're doing great. Doing great. So th thank you so much for being here. This is such a, a cool initiative and a cool thing. When you found out that there was an opportunity to be the junior broadcaster, uh, how quickly did you try to jump on it and say, you know what, I, I want to be up there. I want to do this. Um, I just told my dad about it, and, he, and we just uh, did it right away. And it, It's in your blood, isn't it? This yeah. This play-by-play -play thing is in your blood. Not everybody knows that. Should we should we share the secret? Sure. So Todd is your dad. What was his reaction when he found out that you won this contest? Was he pretty excited for you? Yeah, he um, yeah. Pretty, pretty fired up. Now, we watched that first period together, and it wasn't a great first period, was it? No. What you're a hockey guy, you play minor hockey. What do what do they need to do here? What what what's going to get them moving? They got to pass more and keep it out of their zone. Yep, I, I agree 100%. Looked pretty good. Couple of good scoring chances in, the, in their zone, yeah. right? Look, yeah. at, you're all decked out in your Viper swag. Is that signed? That jersey yeah. signed? Oh, man. You get nicer gear than I do around here. That's great stuff. So are you excited to do this period with me? Yeah. All right, awesome. We're through six minutes here the second period. Warriors leading three to nothing. We've let's, got hope, let's hope they can get one on the board this period. The Vipers now get charged for icing. So, Todd, what does it mean to you to be able to share the booth? I know you got out of the booth because, you know, you had a young family and they're starting to grow and now you get to share some time here. Yeah, cool. Interesting. It's amazing how life uh, comes all the way around sometimes. I mean, the guy sitting next to you on your left was probably the main reason why I stopped calling games uh, between him and his brother and wanted to spend some more family time and fortunate back then to give it, get offered a position within the organization that made sense for me and the family. So, no, this is, uh, this is real special for me and I'm sure it's real special for him as well but you know you get back up here and you almost miss calling games so don't worry the job's safe for now. <laughs> okay good I'll take that <laughs> I'll take that. Good stick for Moen Kim to take it away does he have anything left? Brooks is a good skater to tie him up. Bibby comes in it's knocks it through boy a couple of bodies collided in front of the net no arms go up and now the Warriors will get charged for an icing call but Todd you've called over 1200 games in your career you know no games are ever over. Never over till it's over. Uh, you talk about comebacks and, and different games, and you know there's a long list of, of memorable ones for sure. So you know it looks to me like now the Vipers are starting to string something together here. As you said, a couple of more sustained shifts in the offensive zone, and uh, can definitely definitely change the tide here a little bit. Do you throw body checks yet, Ty? Are you on a level to throw body checks? Um. Legally, throw body checks. Are you allowed to? I'm not allowed to, but. Uh Try and sneak the odd one in. Yeah, the radio yeah. audience can't tell, but he's got a pretty coy <laughs> smile on his face right now. <laughs> uh, his usually coaches would love that, I think. Usually the refs don't call them, so. There you go. <laughs> Puck comes across to the blue line. Hilditch holds it in. Farrell left wing. Wrist shot coming, deflected and stopped by David, oh. and then he'll have to reach out for that one. Oh, the net came off. Ty, were you here on Saturday? Yeah. How, how exciting was that? It was nerve-wracking. Yeah, <laughs> I bet it was. Yeah. I bet it was. Did you get to stay for the whole thing? Yeah. Celebrate with everybody? Yeah. Well, more saves like that from Ethan David. How, how great was he? He was uh, amazing that game. Welcome back. 8.55 remaining second period. Junior broadcast tonight here at Cal Tire Place. Ty Orton joins us. Uh, Todd Miller also here. Ty, somebody told us that you've got some uh, friends and family listening here tonight. Did you want to say hello to anybody? Um, and don't get any, don't miss anybody. They'll remember. Uh, 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 my cousin Luke, my cousin Jaden, my Oma and Papa, my auntie, my uncle, uh, my Oma, my Papa, my brother, my uh, my mom. That might be everybody. I think you're good. Yeah, and then just people. <laughs> Everybody listening. Watching the game. Big audience here tonight. Most of this period has just been in their zone, getting shots on. Like David's been busy. <laughs> Junior broadcaster tonight for School District 22. We've got Ty Orton here. What's your favorite class in school? Um, I like PE, if you consider that as a class. Well, you have to learn how to be physical, right? Yeah. I, I'd count that for sure. What's your second favorite? Um... I like 
uh, careers. Okay. Because we get to on Friday we get like we have like a school fair and everybody can come. If you guys want to come, BX school, nine nine thirty to two. There you go. It's more than a hundred stands there. Really? Yeah. Huh. Well, there you go. Ty, did you have some fun? Yeah, that was did, fun. Did you get to enjoy it from way up here? Yeah. Would you recommend your friends try to do this thing too? Definitely. Well, we love it. That's the testimonial from junior broadcaster Ty Orton from BX Elementary, grade six. Ty, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. And yeah, thank you so much for letting me do this opportunity. That's Ty Orton, our junior broadcaster. Job well done. We'll take a break, come back with your period summary.